So, the XPath injection attack here in Webgoat. Basically, XPath injection attack is very similar to SQL injection attack in a way that it works against XML file instead of working against a database server. So basically, when we are when we were exploiting uh, SQL injection attack, we were exploiting a database server that doesn't validate or sanitize user supplied input information. But the case with XPath, which is I mean XPath without injection, is type of query that's being interpreted by XML file to to retrieve some information requested by the users. But when we say X XPath injection, we're trying to let the XML file works in a way that it's not meant to be worked with. So, for example, if I have an XML file and the XML file is handling user credentials, so I can get the XML file to return all of the credentials stored, um, like the exercise in here. So here, it's telling us that we need to disclose all of the information of employees' data as, as well. As you can see, our goal is to try to see other employees' data as well. So here, if I type like test okay so here account number salary and username so we're going to construct a query that if it gets executed against the xml file will let that file disclose all of the employees data so i can see their account numbers their salary and I can change them as well if the server is vulnerable to JavaScript um, validation bypass or X, uh, XSS or whatever. So let's try to type mic or one equal one or equal for example zero so copying this i'm gonna send this to the interpreter and set is on so here as you can see the username is mike or which is a statement that validates to true every time it gets executed. So I'm going to click on, or I'm going to click on uh, intercept the response as well to see what's the response from the server. Forward. You see here, this is the basic uh, response from the server when you when we are trying to log into our account. Okay, so here you can see that the server respond with all of the employees data including Mike, John and Sarah. So here we're going to click on forward, intercept is off. So here down there you can see here are the data gets disclosed when we executed this query. So this is expert injection attack and in order to avoid this type of vulnerabilities you need to validate or construct your XML or database to validate and sanitize all of the other supply information before getting those information executed or queried against your database or your XML file.